out towards me. There you go. That looks really good. So we need to get it to where you feel the sensation of the shaft coming more down from the inside and behind your hands rather than outside and then teach you how to properly release and square the club rather than going here, pulling in and like getting jammed up. Does that make sense? to exaggerate your finish you go here like that would be your exaggeration that's tiger that's you and steve steve and i just worked on this here that feels crazy but then when you come back to impact look at where your impact was see that but then you go you go well this feels pretty good like this Right? So then you come back and you hold everything neutral here. And like come back to impact and you see like it's all there's a whole mess of mess of stuff going on, right? Yeah. Compared to the opposite for you is that you go this way, the club tips out, right? You get jammed up and the ball goes left. So the opposite would be from the inside with tons of lean and you hit like a really, really low push draw which has the shaft like this, and then we start to dial off of that. Because you got like too much of a good thing. It's like someone saying, hey man, you got like 3% body fat. You need, it like, you need to eat more cheeseburgers. <laughs> we started the hour with hitting impact bags. Then we came here and we did noodles with this and made the ball curve. Now we're at 50 minutes through the hour. You're, then we move it and you hit the best shot of your life. What? If, it, if you're like Every normal, you what would happen is you would hit it yeah, and, and you, know I teach, I you would probably hit about need, four really, really good I ones. And then it'll that. start to degress Someone a smidge a because you'll lose the feeling of what you're doing. And then what ends up happening is the guy gets frustrated and goes, and they keep trying harder and trying harder. It's at that moment that you then restart the cycle. You go back to the bag, back to the noodle, hit for 20, 30 minutes, then introduce balls, right? And what happens is on week one, you can do six without losing form. Then on week two, you can do 15. Then week three, and then it, it starts to go from like these block practice and performance practice to then kind of tipping the scale like this. But what ends up happening is most players do the block practice and they get the feeling for 10, 10 balls. They go, I got it, and then they just start hitting. And it's like, well, what, what are we doing now? So if you're hitting it bad, just go back to the block because you kind of can't hit it bad in the block practice. That's why you're doing it. Was in your downswing, right? When you came down, the club was coming down outside your hands, and you would pull in and you hit every ball fairly left. Fair to say. What we want to do is we want the club to come down like just inside our hands, and then on the fall through, stay just outside our hands. Right? So, really working on the swing direction. So, from here, just inside to just outside, swing direction, we'll call it one or two. You were outside your hands to inside your hands, swing direction on track man minus six. Okay? So, to practice that, you're going to take an impact bag, go back and put it down just inside your hands to feel like it's going outside your hands, which was the sensation as a former baseball player of getting like your hands into the strike zone. Right, so that you could then unleash it. And if you can do this and get the bag to go to the right, you know the shaft plane was coming in from here rather than there. Right? And then when you practice, take your noodle like you've been doing on your online lesson, get your shaft to be about a foot above the ground. So this is three fingers like so. Take a step in a straight line, tee it up. 
and maybe put another tee just in front. The best would be if you could do this and take a divot. Then you know you're really getting it. Because that means if you can take a divot, you're really releasing this thing into the ground. Rather than kind of, you know, right now the path and face are good, but it's still that the shaft doesn't have enough lean, which will drop the flight because obviously whatever the loft creates height. So the less loft, the lower the ball. Okay. So you would set up like this, and I just had this impact bag to make it feel like you weren't trying to pull in. So it's kind of, you know, we'll say almost like three fingers on this side. Get in your setup, turn, and then extending out to the right and feeling like we're kind of showing the belly of our arm. Okay. 